now let's add some thickness to our collar and also we'll add the upholstered parts. So with this selected, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna leave it uh, as one half. And so the stuff that we do, uh, we'll be able to mirror afterwards. So I'm just gonna hit Control E to extrude. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of thickness. And I'm gonna say this is the, uh, the wood amount. So I'm gonna go minus 0.02, see what that looks like. So it's a little thin still. So I'm just gonna bump this up to three. And let's do four. And let's take our divisions down to one. So we're only working with a little bit of geometry still. Okay, so I think that works as far as the thickness of the wood. Now, if I go ahead and just go back to, let's say move, I still have those original polygons selected. So now what I wanna do is I wanna create a new piece of geometry that flows in the same, that exists in the same space here, but it's gonna be the base of our upholstery. So to do that, I wanna duplicate these faces. So we're gonna to go to Edit Mesh, down to Face, Duplicate. And so now we've created a duplicate of just those faces. So now we have this object, and then we have this object. You can see they're still listed under Pipe. So if you want to, you can hit Shift P to drop those out. And now we have both objects separated. Now let's take these, and I'm gonna turn off the template for now. And I don't want the upholstery to go all the way to the end of the wood. And so I wanna actually cut off a little bit of this. And so I'm gonna use multi-cut. So we'll select this tool right here. I'm gonna hit Control. And I'm just gonna add some lines kind of right in here so that we can get rid of this outer part. And I'll do the same kind of right here and right here and then down here. And so now what I wanna do is delete those outer polygons. So it might be a little bit hard to see. We'll turn on wireframe. I only want the ones on the outside here and only polygons. So you can see I can delete those, I can come around and delete the ones on the end. Make sure I'm selecting faces. And if you want to, you can also, at this point, the other piece is kind of getting in our way. So we could grab this one and just view that one. And so that makes it a little bit easier to see I can select this and shift double click on the inside and that'll select all the way up to the top. You can do the same thing here. Move all the way down there. All right. Go ahead and get rid of these for now. Whenever you delete edges, you wanna hold down control to do it. That'll get rid of the points that go with them. All right, so let's go back and turn off this. So now you can see we have kind of a, an opening here or a, it's not as thick. So now what I want to do is I want to extrude out this, but I want to do it in a couple of different ways. So I want to have a sort of bead coming around. If you've ever seen like an upholstered chair, there's a, I'm not, not sure the, the name for it, but it's the bead around the edges that kind of defines the edge of the upholstery. And so I want to have something like that along the edges of this. So to do that, we need to have some geometry there. So we'll go back into multi-cut. We're gonna add another line in here and we want it to be the thickness of that bead. Okay, so something like that. And then if we want that bead to go all the way across here, we're gonna to need to do it here, here, and here. Okay, so now we need to extrude this, but we're gonna do it in two different uh, kind of sections, two different extrudes so that we get the bead and then we also get the upholstery in the center. So let's do the bead first. I'm gonna select all of those outer polygons. So the ones that we just created, and if we need to go wireframe, we can. So only the outer ones that we just made. Okay, so we've got those selected. So now what we're gonna do is hit Control E to extrude those. Let's give it a little bit of thickness, other way. So let's go minus 0.01. And let's take our divisions down. So something like that. 
Now I want to select the rest of the polygons. So I'm just going to select all of those and then select those in the center. I'll deselect the ones on the bottom. We just want the interior. All right. Now we can extrude this. So control E to extrude. We know it's in the negative. Let's do negative 0.01. It's kind of the same. No divisions. Let's add a little bit of an offset. That kind of brings it in a little bit. And let's make the thickness a little bit higher, maybe 0.015. There we go. So it sticks out a little bit more. Now this is symmetrical. And so we definitely want the inside of this not to be there so that we can mirror this over and do the same thing down here. Now, if we hit three to smooth it, we'll see what that kind of looks like. We'll turn off wireframe. So you get something like that. Now we are going to need to add some edge loops on this so that it's nice and tight when we take it into uh, ZBrush. I also want to make sure that I, 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 uh, that the edges are pushed into the surface. So let's grab this edge here and I'm going to come all the way down to this one, shift double click, and that'll select everything in between. And I just want to go to move. I'm just going to move it forward and over up a little bit so that it's intersecting. Okay. And you can do the same thing on the bottom on this, uh, wood part here. Again, we want to mirror it. So we'll delete the interior face. Now, when we're ready to mirror, we can select the object and like that, go to mesh mirror. We want to go in the X and in the negative direction. So we'll change that over mirror. And now we've got our other side. Okay. We want to do the same thing with this part. Now this part, if we look at it in here, let's turn this off. You can see our points aren't matched up. And we want them to be right along the center. So I'm just going to grab those points, go into my move tool settings. I'm going to come to move snap and turn off retain component spacing. Make sure that I'm on world. And then I'm going to hold, hold down the X key and just snap those to the center. Now we can mirror these in the same way. Always checking your merge threshold. If you see things that are merged that shouldn't be merged, that's probably your issue. And now if I turn off two sided lighting in here, you'll see that these turn black. That means their normals are reversed. So I want to go into mesh display and we'll reverse those same thing here. And that happened because when we extruded to get the, to get it to go the direction we wanted to go, it had to go in the negative, right? So we built the outer shell and then extruded it in versus building the, the part that's closer to the body and extruding out. That's why it was black like that. Okay. So, if this ends up being a little bit too far, uh, too far out, you can always go into move, turn on your symmetry settings. We'll just do world X. And then let's say we wanted to move this over. We could do that, right? So you could pull it in like that, grab these. Cause as we're, you know, when we're building half, we can't really see the other side unless you, there's certain things you can do to set it up to where you can, but this will let you do any modifications like that. So obviously we need to, to make this match up as well. So we'll kind of pull this back over and then this bit here, and you can see where it's intersecting with the chest. So obviously we need to fix that so we can come in here, pull this out. We can also turn on, let's turn on some, uh, soft select. So that's going to be right here. This will allow you to kind of modify things overall. It gives you a nice fall off there. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Let's pull this into the, so something like that. We'll turn off our wireframe. So there we've got kind of a base for our wood collar. Now, before we send it over to ZBrush, we will want to add some subdivisions to this just because when we go into ZBrush, we know we're going to smooth it. We know we're going to subdivide it. We know we're going to sculpt on it. I want to be able to keep this as a base to be able to use later, uh, but I want it to smooth correctly when it goes into ZBrush. So I'm just going to add some support edges in here. Okay. So I'm just going to add edge here and here. 
basically along all of the corners that we want to be harder edges. Kind of like that. So now when you smooth it, you can see it stays nice and hard. Come down here and we do the same thing. Edge there, edge there. So we get something like that. And that's just so that when we go into ZBrush, we can set it up to, uh, to subdivide correctly. And you can see here that we're not getting the edges flowing all the way through. If we go to vertex mode, we'll see the reason for that is that we have a point hanging out right here. Hit B to turn off soft select, and then let's turn off symmetry. Now we can connect these up. I'm just going to go all the way across. And on this one, if I go all the way across, you can see it's going to go straight across. So I'm going to actually come down here, place that one, and then continue it over here. Now let's smooth this and see how it looks. And we may need to do it on the other side as well. Yeah, so we still have one little issue right here. Let's go to isolate select and see there's one there. So we just need to do the same thing on the other side. Right click to end the current edge. And then we'll add one right there. Now let's look and see what we've got going on here. So you can always tell when you smooth it if there's an issue. See how this all looks nice and nice and clean? You got an issue right here. So let's check that out. Looks like something may not be connected. Yep, we just got an extra point there. Looks like. Yep, so when we were connecting those edges, just didn't connect right. So to fix that, I'm just going to collect uh, select those and merge them together. Now let's try it. Nice and clean. Okay. So in the next clip, let's continue this process. We're going to build some parts for the belt. So I want another piece just like this, but kind of a thin piece coming around uh, the, the uh, midsection here. So we'll do that next.